Something I don't see is a sealer. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Lynn from L&J Goods. It is so nice to have you with us today. Uh, welcome. Let's uh, flip my, our camera up. Hmm? Just might want to do something about that paper that you're crinkling. Did that remove? It's going to pick up pretty loud. Okay, sorry about that. Didn't mean to get all disrupted here. Hello, 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 and welcome. Um, I'm going to quickly trim this paper away. Sorry for the bad start. But happy Monday, everybody. And there we go. Voila. Hello. <laughs> welcome. Nice to see everybody today. Uh, thank you for watching. We are um, from, we're, oh boy, oh boy. Thank you. Yeah, right? Ellen J. Goods. Um, my name is Lynn, and uh, Megan's here with us today. Ellen J. Goods is a brick and mortar shop here in Western New York, and we are located between Buffalo and Rochester. You can find us also on YouTube and Facebook. That's probably where you're watching. So if you're there, thank you. And um, we are happy that you're here with us today. We're going to be sharing a little project today, um, doing a faux verdigris finish. A long time ago, somebody did mention um, that they wanted to learn how to do that. So today I am going to be sharing that with you. And um, I've already prepped a pot that we'll be working on and but it's going to be extra special because it's also got lots of molds on it and it kind of reminds me of those antique like those old glazed garden tiles those uh like from the roycroft era that that you know 20s and 30s era i've had a few of them and i just thought yeah let's let's try something kind of um with that vibe to it. So, um, Megan, do we, oops, we've got a lot of noise going on in the background there. <laughs> I just need one measurement so I can go. Cut He's getting a measurement. <laughs> oh my goodness. So who's here with us today? Is anybody still There's here with us? There's lots of friends here with us. I'm just busy setting up the, um, our collection here on YouTube so I can get that down below for you. That's where you'll be able to find everything mom is using today. But lots of friends are here with us both on Facebook and YouTube, I can see. Good, good, good. So glad. Um, okay, well, let me flip the camera down. I, what did you, we, I'm so just, I, I th this I was a bad start. On. Why was it so bad? I don't, like the whole paper thing and it's all of that. Deal. And it, it just feels like a big deal to me. <laughs> Okay, whatever. I'm totally messing up. Um, okay, so um, we are um, going to show you. I, I don't even know what to say. Isn't it awful? Well, I, <laughs> I wish if totally, I knew what crap I you were so doing, I would help you. I am so distracted by... I'm sorry. So, I really felt like if that paper was crinkling loudly, they wouldn't be able to hear what you were saying. I, and it would I distract understand. you more. I understand. I didn't mean, I didn't, never thought it would spiral into this. <laughs> what's happening? Right well, now. it has spiraled. What okay. did we do this weekend? We had a oh, we had fun on Saturday. Was it Saturday? Yeah. Yes, we had there a lot of fun. We yeah. had a big family euchre night, and that was actually we all had a really good time. Yeah, it was very very fun. And, and what did we, we had a sandwich buffet. Sandwich party. A sandwich party. Yeah. So um, that was awesome. Yep, it was and, great. Yeah. And uh, assorted cold cuts and all the fixings. And yes. we decided instead of like the usual pizza. Ugh. Well, it, it sounded simple, but Rebecca and I did spend about three hours on the phone <laughs> making our grocery <laughs> list. And planning. You guys show up and it's like, oh, just a easy little sandwich party. But we spent half the day planning it. Anyway, <laughs> the next time I think we're going to do, are we doing a baked potato bar? I don't know. We'll do something time. like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll keep you posted. But it was very fun and we played it 
um, in a really fun way where you don't stick with the same partner the whole way through. Every couple of hands, you switch partners, which made it really extra fun, I thought. Yeah. That made it really fun. Yeah, for sure. Um, let me see. Do I share all of these beautiful collections now or maybe wait a little bit? Oh, you we do. You have to do whatever we're you're gonna feeling. Wait. We're going to wait <laughs> just a little bit. But hey, while we're here, I want to give a shout out to Miss Dorothy Lodge, who sent the sweetest package last week. I know you made these. Did you make these, Dorothy? She sent the sweetest little crochet mushroom. It is so cute. But it pop oh, it's adorable. It even on this side has two little eyes. <laughs> but it is so, so cute and squishy and soft. And I just love it. It kind of made my day. So thank you, so Dorothy, cute. for the wonderful gift. It was very, very thoughtful of you. And she but, must have made it, right? I, Dorothy, if you made this, you need to share a link to uh, let us know what this pattern is. Because it's really, really cute. I bet she made it. I, she had to have made it. This is something my mom would like whip out, like, you know. Laura, I see you. I just got your email. There will be a new link for oh, Camp yes. L&J Goods. I know everybody's worried that they're not getting the right link. It's just simply because mom has not created it yet, but it yes. will come. <laughs> Everyone who signed up for camp and will sign up for camp, you'll get a fresh link with let, all let me info. Let me explain what happened. We kept the same Camp EJG post. So that I could reuse that listing and not have to rewrite the entire thing. I forgot to remove the PDF file from the last Camp EJG. But what I'll do is I'm going to send an actual email to each of you. We're going to give it a few weeks. We still have some time. Um, your supply list is going to be very minimal this time around. So um, if you are concerned about accommodations and links for those, it's all in the description of the uh, event so the the description it's pretty pretty accurate as far as well it's very accurate as far as like you know the the, the agenda the general agenda what we'll be doing and also um uh, links to different places to stay in the area so not to worry about that. But for those of you, I know we had a few people in this weekend that were really interested in coming and they're local, which is nice. I, I hope we see a nice local representation this time around too. We'll, we um, will be announcing the date. I don't know if Sue and Devin already have, but I'll be doing a really uh, fun mixed media art panel project uh, with some painting and just cool, really cool effects. Um, in October out in Ohio. So um, if you can join us there, that would be great as well. All right. I think we've gotten all the business stuff taken care of. So really the main thing that will be coming in that email is your supply list. A supply list. Yes. Yeah. And I'll, and I'll reiterate, you know, the places to stay and probably a little bit more specific as far as where we'll be eating. Mm -hmm. But um, but it's going to be great. We're going to spend some great time together and we're going to be, it's all about focusing on those beautiful spring florals and, and doing two different um, canvases, uh, one larger, one smaller with some really interesting techniques, but you are going to be painting with your own little hands. Um, some different, we're gonna be using Debbie's, uh, the, the new paints, painterly paints. We'll be using some acrylic, um, some other mediums, but um, we'll be supplying most everything you'll need. There'll just be some general supplies you'll need, like your brushes and, and that sort of thing. So we will, we got you covered. And we'll get that information out to you very soon. All right, let's switch it down and do this project. All right, this is a beautiful, beautiful clay pot. I chose a clay pot that had kind of straighter sides. And um, I have already um, done all of my molds on here because I really wanted to focus on that verdigris. And I just, my little dragonfly just lost his... The tip of this wing but that's okay um 
I wanted to be able to focus on the verdigris technique. So this is something that you can do ahead of time. And again, I think it just reminds me of that whole Roycroft look. It's going to anyway. Uh, um, sorry, Deborah. the link for Camp l j Goods is right on our website. You can just search camp. I'll put, a, I'll put it in the collection that I've created for today as well. Yep. So what I did... Here's the first thing I did. I base coated this with Debbie's DIY weathered wood. And then I applied my molds. These are the butterflies. And I just did all sorts of um, varieties of these butterflies. I glued them all around. Um, and then what I did is I took from Dewdrop, Dewdrop Pond. Dewdrop Pond, yep this dragonfly right here and I wanted to add um, him as well. So you'll see that dragonfly represented in a few different places. The reason that I base coated this with the weathered wood first is because air dry clay will shrink a bit as it dries and I didn't want like white spaces underneath but now I'm going to quickly go over this and um, I am going to give it another quick coat of the weathered wood. Just very lightly, um, quick coat. All righty. Let me grab my gloves. And maybe, uh, can I have a paper plate, please? Sure. Thank you. This is a technique that I have done both with Fusion Mineral Paint and with Debbie's DIY um, over the years, and it's, it's one of my favorite techniques. It's what happens when copper um, begins to oxidize because of the elements. So think of, think of the look of the Statue of Liberty, all right? I look right across the street at Ben's Opera House, and it has, uh, way up at the top, it has that beautiful finish up there. So I'm giving this another quick coat all the way around with weathered wood. That is going to be our base coat. And I think what I'll do is I'll hand it over to Shirley to dry, and then I'll show you... Um, these beautiful paper collections. If you're part of our text group, I, I did share like, oh, I forgot. We are going to be showing these beautiful curated French ephemera and, and antique paper collections that are perfect for journaling and your mixed media projects and so forth. It's like they're disappearing. What? The molds, they're disappearing. What do you mean? Like when Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like they they are. Yep, I know. I know. Before our very eyes. Yes. Patrice, are you feeling any better? Hi, Patrice. Dora's here. She's new on YouTube. She's only ever been on Facebook. Oh, hi, Dora. Hi, Dora. Sorry for the rocky start. It was not a big deal, Mom. I, 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 it felt like it to me. I really feel like we had much worse starts than a little crumply paper. Uh, well, no, it was after that and how I got all, like, flustered and <laughs> didn't know what to say and all that totally stuff. Totally fine. This is a live production. It so. is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, Hi, did that, who watches the Super Bowl? Um, JR watches it in my house. I don't. I watched halftime. I'm a big Usher fan, so that was wonderful. You know, Tara said to me, he goes, you know, I like Usher. I love I Usher. have no idea who Usher is. I will never forgive him for what he did to Chili, but he is a great performer. <laughs> I don't even know who it is. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> oh, my God. And he was a, he was very good, very entertaining. Yeah, well done. Yeah. But otherwise, no, I don't watch it. No, I actually, once it started, I, took, I went to my... I, I, watched YouTube videos um, and went to bed early. <laughs> Miss Shirley, Leah's asking how Celine is doing. 
Oh, Celine. She's doing great. We haven't met her yet. She had a little incident of getting, <laughs> of getting into the kitty cat's food when she was supposed to come visit us. So we'll have to wait a little bit longer. Oh, I know. Cheryl, you'll have to bring her. Um, yeah. The, pro the, the shop is, is, I mean, we have all of our Pentart, all of our Tim Holtz upstairs. I'm telling you, it looks so good. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm excited for this um, whole transition, this whole change. Um, Karen, how can you be a part of the text group? Well, there's a few different ways. In fact, if you go to lmjgoods.com, I just created a pop-up where you can sign up right there on our website easily. You just put your phone number in and then the instructions will follow. Um, there's also instructions in the description on YouTube down below. And that is for a one-time use, right? When I didn't even say anything about the coupon code. I just said oh, that you, where you sign oh up. Oh, my gosh. I didn't want to talk about that yet because oh, okay. you, didn't send a group. you didn't send the message to I our did not. Yet. I did not. Yeah. But you can go right to our website. There will be a pop-up where you can sign up there. And then I'll also give you some instructions here, Karen. Right in the comments, I'm going to give you the phone number. I'm so proud of you, Megan, how you figured that all out. Thank you. So it definitely was a challenge to me. All of the websites but stuff is a little it. challenging to me, but I feel very proud when I oh my gosh, I'm so proud conquer of something. Yep. It you. feels so good, doesn't it? It really does. All righty. You should bring Celine in on the day that we're live. Yes, oh, so, I can, know. so she can come on the live. I think that's oh, a great that idea. So good. All right. I'm just kind of going over that, making sure that I've got all of my little edges done. And all of a sudden, you're right, Megan, all of those little butterflies yeah. and winged things disappear. But we're okay. going to see them again. I just got to make sure. And boy, you do. You have to turn this every which way to make sure you got all those little edges covered. But the next step, we're going to actually apply uh, Pennies from Heaven, which is a copper-colored liquid patina. And that's going to go over this entire pot. Because when what I tried to do is I tried to think of when when something is aging and you're trying to reproduce that aged look, like what did it first look like? That's the first thing that I want to put down there. So um, other than, you know, the this dark weathered wood, this is just to <laughs> create a background, but it would be copper. Copper oxidizes and creates that beautiful greenish, um, teal, aqua-ish, um, finish as it ages. And so the first coat that I want to put down is that copper so that I'm going to make like a whole copper pot here is what I'm going to end up doing. And then what we'll do is add the layers to show the oxidation and how those layers occur over time. Amazing. I hope it is. All right, Miss Cheryl, you want to go quickly dry this? This will dry really quickly because it's a terracotta pot, and it will um, it absorbs so quickly into that terracotta and dries quickly. Delray asks, when we were at the market, was it just Christmas for this coming year, or did we get a peek at all the trends for the year? Oh, we did get a peek at a lot of the trends. Um our focus was primarily holiday. We did look for some spring, but the time was limited. I mean, I could have like shopped. Um, I could have shopped and shopped and shopped, but um, I didn't. We we were. I think I explained this in our YouTube video. Like we had to have a really good plan and be very um, strategic in how we handled ourselves in our orders 
um, because it's business and you know I can tend to be pretty impulsive and so I had to have like a real like I had to keep focused really keep focused but it wasn't just Christmas we got stuff for spring and we did in fact our first batch too. of spring just came in and um, I'm excited because we'll be adding all of those pretty florals and um, those are, those are, we're going to unpack those on Wednesday and we'll get them on the website. And so yes. you can, you can shop right along with us. So one of the other things that I did when I was there is I got some very beautiful collections from Miss Stephanie and um, she, she, uh, put together some beautifully curated bundles of papers and I wanted to be able to show these to you guys and give you a crack at them. Um, uh, so the first one up, and I think Megan included these in the list, They're right? In the collection, yep. Yep. This is a collection of 50 vintage and antique French book pages. 50. 50 of them. Front and back. Now, these are great for journal projects, for just your mixed media. Um, if you really want to hang on to these and not use them for decoupage, like you could certainly make copies of them and, and decoupage your heart's content. It is so, I mean, I could just go into like, a dive, a deep dive here. Just looking through every one of these, I don't understand a word of French except nope. the word French fry. But they look beautiful. Yeah, but they they are beautiful. And so, um, but just a beautiful big assortment. And some of these are linen papers. Oh my gosh, they're incredible. So what a great way to. Um, build your collection of ephemera for journaling and mixed media. So, do, yes. Do, do we have a link to the FIFO bottles on our Amazon shop? Uh, I'm not sure. I think maybe. I'll we double do. check. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I need to order some more. Um, so, okay. So, there's number one. And what is the price on these, Megan? Let me see. Which one oh is my that? Gosh. This is the 50 book pages. Let me see. What a great it batch. Is $22.95. $22.95. So think about that. You've got 50 book pages, but if you make copies, like you've got both sides. So that's a hundred different that's so, that's images. Amazing. And oh, and there's a title page right there. Look Beautiful. at that. Oh, that's awesome. And all from large to small, but what a great Great, great collection that she put together. Very for us. special. Yes, I'm excited. I held one of these out for moi as well. Oh. And so you do know some French. Oh yes, moi. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Um, this is five original French script papers. Let me open these up and show you. These are also very special. These are kind of similar to, kind of reminds me of what we put together in the kits. Um, but these are just beautiful handwritten pages. Oh my gosh, look at these. And these are all random selections. I can't, you know, there's no special requests, but look at the calligraphy on these pieces. Oh my gosh, and there you go, front and back on each of these, but there's five beautiful old pages. I'm looking for a date. Something 23. Oh my gosh, look at this. The background pages, the, the little taped bits. Oh my goodness. And again, this is something that you can you can make copies of these to decoupage backgrounds, um, create a little gift wrap, whatever you want. Oh my goodness, those are beautiful. So this is all like handwritten, like that beautiful old, old calligraphy. So we have those. And 
we have, these are my favorites. These are, um, this is a set of ledger papers. These are $16.95 and you get eight different ledger papers. Let me open that up. I love these for journaling. We will do a shop walkthrough soon. Uh, we very are just soon. very much under construction right now. And uh, once we can get these spring florals out, that would be a great time oh to do that. Gosh, look at these. Look at these and look at the typography. Oh my goodness. So yes, there are, and the sizes. I mean, look at this, you guys. Look. Beautiful, beautiful. So there's eight of those, double-sided. Oh my gosh, look at the handwriting. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I get so excited about this stuff. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gor gor or in, as the French say, gorgeois. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then. Is that really how they say it? I've, I have no clue. Like I said, the only French I know is. Um, moi. Moi or French fry. That's not French though. <laughs> and I have just a couple. I think I have like four or five of these. This is just a whole collection of 30 different just bits of ephemera you might find prescriptions in here you might find medical documents you might find business documents legal documents receipts bills all kinds of stuff in here but just some really really great bits of ephemera yes these are all for sale you can find them in the collection i created today or in your text group and if you're in the text group mom already sent you a link uh, I didn't don't... send a link. Okay. I just said that we would be showing these okay. today. And you don't have to fight over them, Karen and Judy, because there's enough for both of you. Beautiful. If you go there now and get them. Yes. Um, this is a little collection of six antique watch faces. And um, so you get all six. And they're assorted. So I don't know. It's like a random selection of six of these watch faces. These are great for journaling, for mixed media, for um, for assemblage art, all of that. So that's what we have that is special and just new on our website. So let's get back to this project. All right. So here we have this all covered in weathered wood. Now we're going to take our... Pennies from Heaven, a copper patina. This is like golden ticket, but it's copper. And it's so beautiful. Let me grab another brush here. I really do love this. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous will be magnifique or très magnifique. Magnifique. Say magnifica. <laughs> okay, and so we will apply this right over that weathered wood, and that's going to kind of seal that first layer, too. Uh, there is a link, Amy, if you go... Well, I'll put, I can put a link for you here in the comments, but in, in the description, you'll see where it says supplies. If you click on that link, you'll find all of those items that mom just showed. That's in the description down below the video on YouTube. And on Facebook, you'll find it up above in the description. So now I'm actually creating my copper pot. Look at that. And the coverage on this is pretty darn good too. Isn't that beautiful? Well, I I did two um I did 
two column pieces. They were originally end tables and I put them in my cottage to try to figure out if I wanted to use them as a, you know, paired together as a coffee table-ish kind of situation. I also made the mistake of asking what people thought of it. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. Lots of opinions about it. Yes. Um, and I'm going to be quite honest with you. Well, no, I, I'm going to, I'll tell you what happened in the end. Um, and that will be part of an edited video. I'm going to show you the whole technique that I use to create the look of those chippy old columns that I love so much. Susan wants to know why you put the weathered wood on first. Uh, just as a layer, a base coat. I didn't want to apply this. I wanted a consistent um, finish over this whole thing. And I just didn't, as this dried, I didn't want there to be any shrinkage and surprises underneath this. Um, I will say, you know, I would let these dry totally, completely. I'm not even sure that mine are completely cured yet. So if they were to shrink just a little bit, I'm not going to get that white pot underneath. I will have a dark shadow around each of these if that were to happen. Does that make sense? I think so. Okay. No, Stephanie, I did see your request to become a moderator. Mom and I just have not had a chance to sit down and discuss um, what that would look like for us. But thank you. I did get it. Karen, I, your daughter, Megan, can be tech savvy just like me because <laughs> I am not tech savvy. I've just had to teach myself. And it has been a, you know, it, it's been, it's not, it does not come naturally to me. I will tell you that. It doesn't come naturally to me, too. And and most of what I learned, I just learned, like, on the job, just doing, yes. you know, at different, my different, a couple different jobs I had. This is the job where I <laughs> learned. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Right here. We're just, we're just jumping for joy today that Megan, like, figured that all out. Yeah. Sad that Levon has COVID, but glad it oh, forced me home to figure that out. Hard. Yeah, your kids have, have had quite a maybe the worst. Right. Yes. No one got COVID during like COVID. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no one, no one in my family. Oh, I really think this is gonna be birdie. But think of doing this even like on tiles and. Could you use resin molds? Sure you could. Absolutely. I just wanted that look of, I, I, you know, if you watch me, I, I love, my first love is the air dry clay. It really is. I just love how organic it is and it's not like that perfect plasticky resin. Resin has its place. I use it all the time, but I do always prefer um, the air dry clay. How long did you let the molds dry on the pot before you put the first coat Well, on? I speed dried them. So I do not recommend that. Please, um, yes, please let them dry on their own naturally. <laughs> I think, you know, because I'm prepping for, you know, what we do here today, um, I just had to make sure that I had everything dry enough to work on. Which is why I said I may get a little bit more shrinkage, and that's why I also base coated my pot with that dark color. So, um, but yeah, I, I mean, typically, depending on where you live, I mean, they, I would give them a good 24 hours to dry completely. Another tip that I have is if you are doing individual air dry clay pieces, um, and I did this on the Swedish molds, um, the Swedish ornaments, sorry. I put them in the uh, food dehydrator. 
and that helped to dry them and it didn't have a lot of cracking or any issues. All right, so we will go ahead and dry this. Hey, Cheryl. Yep, I'm ready. Look at that shiny thing. Isn't that so shiny and pretty? Oh, we are about to change all of that in a minute. Yep, that's got to be super dry. All right, and we will talk a little bit about the colors that we're going to be using today. We're going to be using Mermaid Tail which is that very aqua-y, teal-y kind of color. So I have some mermaid tail here. And shake it up. I was, I, when, I, when I was thinking of this project, I was gonna go in a completely different direction, you guys. I was gonna try to do a dark background with, um, Oh, like, uh, and paint the, the butterflies all with like kind of a watercolory look. But I ditched that because I thought, oh, I remember, you know, what's that place, Megan, on Marshall Road, that, that historic site? Marshall Road? On uh, Marshall Road by the lake. Oh, the ruins? The ruin. Yeah, we call it the ruins. I forget the But it's by the boat it. launch? It is, yes. And it's there. There's all, there are still remainders of like the old tiles from the 30s and before and prior in the brick wall and in the ruins. And that was very inspiring me to me when I was thinking about this project. I thought about that. We're also going to be using apothecary and a little bit of white swan. So, um, and then to finish off, we'll be using shipwrecked wax. Yay. And also, um, like the colors, the mineral colors that occur, like in the lake bottom, are really pretty in certain places too. So that, that whole look was very inspiring to me. But Shirley is finishing that up, and we are going to do some glazing with these colors. Um, can I get a little bit of liquid patina, perhaps? Just regular? Sure, thank you. I'm just thinking that might make this process a little bit quicker. I have here... Just a little damp paper towel, ready to go. And, yeah. Boy, it was weird on Friday. JR and I, we took the day off on Friday. And I got to tell you, the whole day I was like, I was talking to Megan. And I'm like, I just missed the being there and going live. And... I just wish I was there. It was so strange to get used to, like, a different day off a week. It really was. Melissa said she made the same pot but put the blue on the bottom and the copper on the molds. Oh, okay. All right. There we go. I'm going to get that ready to go. And I'll just mix a little bit right into my mermaid tail I think we got some snow coming too Maria I can give you a link to that Carol said, I'm so interested in glazing techniques. I don't know how to use them to create different effects. Yeah, it is. It's, it's really fun. It's one of my favorite types of techniques to use um, when I'm painting furniture, when I'm doing projects like this. So basically, I mixed my liquid patina uh, while you were all looking at my head. <laughs> I, was, I was mixing liquid patina into my DIY paint mermaid tail. 
And that's going to help it to become a little, it'll be more permanent that way too. And I won't have to deal with um, that paint uh, distressing and lifting because it is a, Debbie's is water, water soluble. Yeah. Maria, I'm posting a link to that video that she's referencing in the comments, okay? So there it is. Now we will start to brush on and pat in this beautiful mermaid tail mixed with DIY liquid patina. So Delray, that's our new schedule going forward. We'll be filming our lives on Mondays and Wednesdays, and Mom will drop an edited YouTube video on Fridays. So that will tentatively be her new day off when she, you know, that doesn't mean that things, she may not be here sometimes on Friday or we'll be, you know what I mean? We switch things up from time to time, but that is our tentative new schedule. It's just much easier to film a live when our shop is closed. We hate to, I hate making customers feel like, oh, can we come back here? Can we not come back here? Know, right? You know, we always want to make them welcome and give, um, them are full attention and you are full attention and that's really hard to do when the shop is open so yeah this will the schedule will work out better and you're getting the bonus of that edited video on fridays yeah. and you never know what when we may pop on and and say hi but we're gonna try not to make it when we're open yeah it's, it's yeah, hard it, it, it is it's, tricky. Really it's very hard. tricky but you won't be getting less of us actually you'll be getting more yeah that's right so. Shreda got 10 inches of snow yesterday. <gasps> Is that right? Where do you live, oh. Shreda? Okay. Well, it's better for Levon if he has to get sick to get sick now than when we're traveling, I suppose. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be so pretty. And you may think, but what about all that beautiful copper paint? Remember, copper oxidizes, and so we, um, it does kind of get covered up, but you're going to see a wonderful thing that happens in just a minute here. So Tanya has a crackle question. We always sure. get one crackle question per video, <laughs> That's no matter right. what we're doing. Uh, the top coat you use with fine line crackle is a solvent-based top coat, anything that's flammable. And yes, we do sell it online. I can put a link to it here in the comments on YouTube for you. There's a matte and the gloss. Is that right, Mom? Yes. Okay. Yeah, if you want that nice porcelain glazed kind of look, definitely go for the, the, um, the gloss. Okay, so... Now we're gonna make some magic happen here. This is layer one of our oxidation process, our faux verdigris. I'm gonna take this damp paper towel and I'm gonna to begin to pat this. Oh, already, it just makes me so happy. And look, and here comes some of that copper coming through. Shreda's in Texas. Oh my goodness. Oh, Ten ooh. inches of snow in Texas? Wow. What is going on? I mean, look at this. I'm so excited. I, I know. Yes. Texas weather. Snow. Vertigray. Finish. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just patting away that excess. Kind of dabbing at it. This is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if it's picking up. Get a fresh one. Oh, when we got more goodness, it's going to go over this too. But I'll tell you, even that on its own. Me. 
Okay, Cheryl, let me give you a close-up of this. Look at that so far. Oh my gosh, is that beautiful. It's so pretty. Okay, Shirley's going to go give this a very quick a quick dry. Hey there, Deb. Oh, you can put that right in my car. <laughs> I said that about the secret project that I'm working on in the basement, yeah, too. Yeah, that, too. <laughs> All right, so the next color, you know, that when that copper oxidizes, over time, those mineral deposits kind of come to the surface, and, and sometimes it gets that kind of lighter haze over it. That's where we're going to bring in a little bit of apothecary. And this just has that pretty, like, lighter blue-green. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take the apothecary. I'm also going to add just a touch of white swan to that. Okay, yes. Al was asking if the mermaid color will dry lighter. No. What you see is basically what you get with well, it, Debbie's DIY. No, it will dry lighter until you seal it. Yeah, until we seal it. Yes. But I no, but I mixed result. but I already mixed in liquid patina. Oh, so, that's right, that's right. so it's not gonna change. And Corinne asked, could you spritz it with a little water? Of course you could, but I just use a damp paper towel. I feel like I have a little bit more control over it. Yeah, I can see that. And so here I am. I'm just mixing that liquid patina into this mix of apothecary and white swan. So by mixing the DIY liquid patina into this, it creates a glaze. So it creates a little bit of a transparency. It also sets that, that paint into place. Because otherwise, if I was wiping away, you'll see with this next layer, if I were to start dabbing away at that, I would could potentially wipe away the paint from underneath. Jody did an aged faux copper wall in her kitchen using embossing paper. Oh, that sounds so wonderful. It really does. Hey, Marsha. Okay. Stephanie said, I tried using Pentart glaze and I guess it's too dry here. It dried before I could get it wiped back. Hmm. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Where do you live, Stephanie? Here she comes. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to take. Our next color, again, this is Apothecary White Swan mixed with liquid patina, and I'm going to put this all over it. Now, this time, I am going to uh, just do a section at a time. She lives in Central California. Mm, maybe, yeah. But I, boy, that's... I mean, even with any glaze, you know, because it is a glaze and it is a water-based product, I mean, you kind of have to work quickly, I would say. I mean, I know when I use glaze, like on furniture, I only work like a section at a time, which is what I'm doing here as well. All right, and I'm going to get my... Paper towel dampened. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start to pat away. She says she even did really small areas. Which Pentart glaze? Hmm. You see, that's already kind of drying a little bit there. I guess it depends on what you're putting the glaze over, too. Exactly, yeah. So I want this. Oh, 
I want to start to reveal, I want to reveal those layers underneath. I want to see some of that mermaid tail. I want to see some of the copper. See, this was still a little bit wet. I gotta, I'm gonna have to fix it, that tail there. Patty, the, the Amazon link is right in the description below on um, on YouTube. Let me see if I can copy it and paste it for you. No, it wasn't you, Shirley. It's my mold was a little bit wet. Patty's coming to camp. I'm so happy about that. Patty. Patty Levine. Is Patty coming to camp? Yeah. Yay! Patty, is your sister coming? I hope so. Okay. So see, this is kind of drying already. So I have to be... To work it quickly. I probably covered too big of an area to start, but it's okay because guess what? You know what, you guys? I can always go back in and add more of the other colors. So, and I'll show you how I do that as well. This looks so cool. Isn't it pretty? I started shipping the kits from last week. I was just going to say that. Shirley lovingly was putting them all together today. I know. So I've got some of that copper coming through, some of the mermaid tail. And it's a little more challenging when you've got all of these um, butterflies and, you know, the molds on here. It can be a little more challenging to get all of this. And the trick is, like, I don't want to get it too wet because I don't want to... Um, um, that's what happened with my, with my dragonfly tail. <laughs> If you oversaturate it, it's going to um, soften up your, your clay. Okay. Nope, Carol, it's never too late to add an item to your order. Just put a little note that you want me to combine and I'll refund your shipping. Uh, I think our total, we're capping camp at 30, right? I think it's going to be capped at about 24 this okay. time. Yeah. And I know we've sold quite a few already. The, did Jer, you mean the shadow boxes, Delray? No, but he knows he, that he needs to. But you can order them now, and then they'll be they'll be ready. I have it as like the end of February. I will remind him about that because he did tell us at the beginning of February that yeah. that would be okay. Oh, look at how that just settles into the... Oh, my goodness. I'm going to text him and nail him down on a date. Oh, boy. Well, he told us at the beginning yes, of February yes, by the end, did. but I know he's traveling, so I want to make sure he can get that done before he goes. So you kind of play around with the consistency, like if you need to add a touch more water or if it needs to be a little drier.
But what I want to show you is like here where my patina dried a little bit more, I can come back in with that other color. Like I can come in with the mermaid tail and I can add more of that. And then wipe it back. So there's, you can just keep adding layers, subtracting layers until you get the, the kind of look that you want. But it's so pretty. Patty's not sure about her sister or her sister-in-law. Oh, we would miss your sister so much. Let's see, oh, I want some of that, just a little bit of that copper to come through. Oh my goodness, Megan, I love this. It's great. So much. Look at that beautiful, beautiful pot with all of those insects on there. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Okay, Cheryl, I'm ready for you. The teal color is mermaid tail mixed with liquid patina. Yes, mermaid tail. Look at that, it's like the perfect blue for this, blue-green, I guess. There we go. So, Cindy, you definitely do not have to be a painter for this. No, do not let no, no, that no. Scare you. no. We're no, going to no, be no, using no. stencils and stamps. It, it, it is not at all. You could just have never done a project before in your life, and you could do this. I'm just looking at these paper, these golden wings that we have. We're thinking about doing another camp during the year. For sure, we'll be doing one in Ohio for anyone yes. that can't come yeah. to this one. We'll be in Ohio in October. I don't know if she's posted that yet. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I know that I know that they got me on a deadline that I have to get my okay. projects, okay. like pictures of the projects done. But um, but we never do anything that you where you, you just show up as you are with whatever skill level you're at yes. and you can participate. That's what we always do for camp. Yep. Yes, I don't want anybody to feel like, oh, but I can't draw a stick figure. You no, don't have it doesn't to. Matter. I might even have you drawing with your, um, now look at that. That's that gold wing, the gold little paper die cuts that we have that set of. And look at that. I don't know yet. We are playing around with doing a camp in New York in October, but we do a camp in Ohio. It's This would be the third year, Mom? Yeah. yeah. In October. The first, I think it's the first weekend in October. Look at that. So you can use this technique even on cardstock. That's... Hmm. That's, that's, that's always a tough question. How much would you charge for a, like a pot like that? Like what you just made. Oh, are you talking about that you would sell it? Oh, boy. It's so hard. It's so hard. I mean, I used a half of a thing of air dry clay. Um, you know, your paint is minimal. My pot actually retails for $21. It's one that I have here in the shop. And so, yeah, you just have to, it's tough. I, I And it depends on where you are. where you live. This is a little bit of dry brushing of that. I could even add just a touch more white. But see how, like, adding all of these layers of colors, we've got the deep of the, um, the copper and the weathered wood under there. Then we've got the medium tones of um, mermaid tail. And now we're, and then we've added the apothecary and then a little bit of white swan just over the surface. A little bit dry brushed over that surface. And that all of that just adds to that more realistic look. 
But you know, you could you could do a plastic pot and cover it in like fresco and uh, fusion mineral paint to start with, and then um, let that dry completely, and then go ahead and use your Debbie's DIY. Uh-huh, so cute. All right, let me give this a quick. Did you have to paint the inside of the pot or did it come like that? This was like this, um, but okay. With pots, if you are going to put an actual plant in here, you need to put it in a, you need to seal this completely. I would seal this entire thing with funcature on the inside, all right? If you're gonna use this outside, now is the time, now is the step where I would seal it with the Funkature Rock Hard top coat, all right? I am not going to use this outside, so I'm going to go ahead and just add my Verdigris wax, but you need to have this completely sealed. If this terracotta gets wet in here and it, it absorbs the moisture, it's going to come through the other side and it's going to lift all of that beautiful, all of your beautiful molds. And I would never put a pot in here. I would never put dirt directly into this. I would put a potted something in here. Exactly. Yep. You could do a liner in there, but you still want to make sure that the inside is completely sealed. Okay. And if you are using this outside, let me tell you again, now is when you would completely cover this with that funcature, all right? Completely cover this pot. Then add your wax. But because mine is not gonna be used outside, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my wax on right now. This is shipwrecked wax, and it's gonna give me that beautiful, beautiful verdigris magical verdigris finish on here too. So, so pretty. It's so pretty. So I just want to, I'm just going to um, apply this. Oh my goodness. And because it's wax, it's a little more sheer and it also gives just a little shine. I'm very excited about this, you guys. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. So I would apply this, wipe the excess, and then go ahead and, oops, I lost another piece of, a, of somebody. And then I would come back the next day when it's, and, and buff this. Like take my buffy and buff it. Love that little buffy. Well, big buffy, I guess. I like both buffies. Buffies. But all of these layers make a difference. Every one of these layers is important. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, we have a new Jeanne d'Arc. Uh, it's coming. It's been shipped. I already put it on the website. Guys, if you want your Jeanne d'Arc and you want to claim yours, you can get it now. Um, they have shipped from Denmark. We should have them within the week. All right, you guys, that does it. There is our Roycroft-inspired faux verdigris finish on this gorgeous pot. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, it sure is. What do you think? What do you think, you guys? Isn't that beautiful? Hello. That is beautiful. Would a white wax be good for this project, Elizabeth asks. Of course, but I would not skip this step no, right that's here. Essential. Yeah, it gives it that little bit of sheen, and it just intensifies that verdigris color, and I think it's lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I know sometimes it's really hard to tell when you're on, on camera like this, but look at that. It's really cool, and she'll photograph it. I sure will. I uh, will take a beautiful um, picture of this, a beauty shot, and we will say see you later.
We'll see you on Wednesday. Wednesday, did we say? Wednesday is Valentine's Day. It is Valentine's Day. Megan's trying to encourage me to do something. Well, I just think we can't pretend it's not. Valentine-ish. We can't pretend it's not Valentine's Day. Well, I know we can't. Right, we can't. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. Love it. Okay, well, we will see you Wednesday. And uh, hang out in the text group. We'll uh, let you know if anything important or interesting comes up between now and then. Megan and I are going to have our hair cut tomorrow. Yes, wait. thank goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm so overdue. Yes. All right, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye. Bye. Are we? Hmm?